Alright folks, welcome back to Farming Simulator 19. My name is Drake, I am the Farming Aviator. We got the Big Bud fired up. So we got a bunch of work to do today. We're also going to hop out quick. Let's fire the Magnum up. Oh, doesn't want to fire. There we go. We're going to let that warm up. We're going to get this tractor hooked up to the plow. Because we got a bunch of work I want to get done today. We also need to get this field up. Let's see if we can make that turn. Alright. We got a bunch of work to do today. We want to finish harvesting that cornfield. First, we got to wait for our crops to dry. So, we're waiting for the uh, crop symbol up there that says, you know, the crops are wet to. Uh, say that the crops are dry like about in another hour they'll start drying out and then uh, I want to get uh, our new field planted with wheat and the sunflower and the corn field that we're about to harvest the small one down there I want to get those both planted with wheat so uh, we got a lot of work to do today let's get to it So we got this hooked up, all ready to go. We're going to go ahead and leave that here because we do want to plow that field quick. We got the lime spreader over there already. And then uh, we, what else? We got to pl uh, lime it, plow it after we're harvesting it, and we'll get that planted. Right now we're just waiting for those crops to dry, that uh, corn field, and then we'll be able to harvest it. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And uh, get down to the shop, pick up our cedar that we're leasing. Uh, well, we got to lease it yet. But we'll get down there, do that, and uh, start planting our new field. So we'll see you guys down there. All right, guys, we're here at the shop. Let's go ahead and pull up the cedar we're going to lease. Uh, I think eventually we will buy a cedar, but for now, we're going to go ahead and lease this one. It's a little more expensive, but we can uh, direct drill. Uh, with this, uh, meaning we don't need to cultivate the field before we use it. It's $9,300 and uh, only requires 240 horsepower. Um, some of the other ones that I was looking at required more horsepower or you had to um, you had to cultivate before. So I think this one is going to work really well for us. So let's uh, get backed up to this, um, and then we need to get some fertilizer and seed. Ooh man, that squats a little bit. <laughs> this might be a little heavy for this tractor, but uh, we'll just have to deal with it. So let's go in here, buy some seed. Not sure how much seed. Go buy one of those and see. And then we're probably gonna have to grab the pickup and get the hook up to the fuel trailer and get the fuel trailer down to the field because I do need fuel in this too. So guys, I'm gonna get this filled up and uh, get some solid fertilizer in there and we'll head over to our new uh, field. All right guys, so I did get a ride back up to the farm, decided to grab, hop in the Ram and uh, hook up to the fuel trailer, bring this down here because uh, like we're definitely going to need fuel in this Magnum before we get too far along, so might as well try and fill it up right away here. Let's go ahead, pull into here and do that. I'm excited to try out this cedar and see how it works. So we have filled up, there we go, it's going. Alright, so let's go over to this end here. Let's get this unfolded. I'm excited to try this out, see how it does. It's not very wide, it's actually uh, shorter than, 
or not it's shorter. It's not as wide as our planter by a meter. So uh, we'll see how this works out. I'm sure it'll work out fine though. But we do uh, don't have to cultivate, so that'll be nice once we get into the sunflower field and that cornfield there. So let's drop this down. And then get our speed set, 11 miles an hour. All right, a little off on the first one here, but that's okay. But yeah, it looks like this thing is uh, pulling it just fine. Um, like I said, I was looking at some other ones and uh, it would've been nice to get a little bit bigger one to lease, but then we would've had to use the well, we'd had required more horsepower, so we'll see. This should work fine for now. I think this uh, this field as a this field edge isn't very straight. We'll see how this works. This thing doesn't turn super sharp. Let's see, we may be doing every other row or something just because it doesn't turn very sharp. So we'll see. I don't think I've used this one, this uh, cedar before. This is part of the Borgo DLC that came out um, from Giants. They have a uh, Borgo has some bigger, like a 23 and a half meter uh, cedar, and then this other one, a 30 meter, which I think that's a hundred foot cedar, which is super big. So uh, this map is a uh, definitely small and it wouldn't be useful on this map at all. It'd be uh, seeding everything in two passes, so. This is uh, definitely our size. Looks like it's working pretty well. Let's, uh, once we flip around here, we'll double check that our seeding rate, or our uh, fertilizer rate is going pretty well. Looks like it's going down a bit faster than the seed, but uh, we didn't treat it with anything else uh, prior, so we'll see how that, that works. All right. Yeah, we may go every other and then come back. I think that's gonna work easier because this thing just doesn't turn very sharp, so. Let's take a look here. Oh yeah, that nitrogen level was really bad. Um, so yeah, we're definitely be using a lot of fertilizer. We're gonna have to go back for more, I think. Um, if we take a look here, you can see that field is all loam, which is great. pH level is great since we threw that down, and yeah, we gotta come all the way up, so. So guys, I'm gonna get a little time lapse of this. Enjoy.
So as you can see, we're just about halfway done here, guys. And then we'll work our way back down the field. I don't think we're going to make it uh, with fertilizer. We're going to have to go definitely get some fertilizer. I may have to bring uh, the Case Optum or Maxim down there and uh, use the pallet forks. Maybe get a couple things of fertilizer and seed loaded on the back of the uh, truck. Uh, just because I know I'm definitely going to need some more uh, for that other field. Let's get flipped around here and let's take a look at the other field and see what we need there. So if we take a look here, oh, this one's not nearly as bad. 60 and 80, or this one is 20, 40. So it's definitely, this field is definitely a little bit better. This one may need some more fertilizer. Um, but I think we're definitely gonna need a truckload or two in order to uh, get this whole field and this field seeded and fertilized. Uh, what we'll probably do is once uh, we're done with this field, we'll get a work going on this one and then uh, we'll get that uh, small corn field harvested. In the meantime, I'm just going to finish this up off camera. We'll see you guys in a bit. Um, Uh-oh. I hope our worker can make it out of there. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> all right, uh, let's go ahead and stop this guy and do a couple headland passes here. Uh, I was going to send the worker to do this field while we harvested the cornfield here, but as you guys all saw, he definitely took the ditch all the way down there. And well, we don't want that. So let's go ahead and uh, do a couple headland passes and then we'll see how he does if he still wants to take the ditch. We may have to do a couple more. We'll see, I did two headland passes on the bottom side too. So we may end up just doing this field, we'll see. We got that other field done, our new field, all seeded with winter wheat. So we're good there. Uh, we just started on this one and our corn is ready to harvest. I think, uh, I think what we're gonna do is we'll just uh, go ahead and do this one off screen as well and uh, get this corn field get this harvested so I want to get corn harvest and uh, yes yeah, see seeding and stuff all the time so we'll uh, we'll get the smaller field get that seeded on camera so we still have to plow that and uh, we'll see how long it takes so I'm gonna go get this road done so I bet there's gonna be issues if we let it if we get the worker go Gonna be running onto the road over there with only two headland passes, so we'll probably just do this ourselves and then get into get into corn harvest first though. Alright, so let's park that there for now. You see we got some pallets loaded up on the truck there. That is ready to go. This is ready to go. So let's hop into here, get it warmed up and uh, 
get into corn harvest here. guys we are getting this field done I decided to switch over to the seeder and do the seeding while we got our worker harvesting um, not sure which one the worker would be better at because they both took the ditch <laughs> it was a little scary seeing my harvester go flying through the ditch but uh, he did make it out so uh, kudos to him but he is struggling a little bit so I think I'll probably switch back to the harvester once he gets done with that little section because he can't screw that up. And then uh, we'll just finish seeding later. This is working pretty well. Let's see, we're just about out of fertilizer here. We take a look. Let's see here, that's the yield. We are laying down pretty good amounts of fertilizer. Um, so there is that. We're gonna have to figure out a different way to put down fertilizer and maybe get a slurry tank or something and put slurry down. That might be a better way to do it so we don't use so much because uh, we definitely spent a lot of money on fertilizer. So that's something we gotta figure out uh, for next season. Uh, for now, this is working though. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and flip this around. I think we should be able to make it down to the end. With just 4% left. And then by that time, hopefully that uh, harvest will be just about done. Alright guys, we did make it to the end here. So let's get this folded up. We'll get uh, filled up with more seed and fertilizer here. The cedar actually works pretty well. I'm impressed with it. And 
The only bad part is the working width. It's a little small, especially now we're going to start getting some bigger fields. Right, let's see here. Let's load up with the fertilizer first. All right, he completed his task. Let's run over here and get him unloaded. And we got that small section. So I'll uh, do one last time lapse here. This little section will get that done, and then uh, we'll uh, probably uh, pretty much end the video there. So just about done with this little cornfield. I see there's not much um, to this small field. That's why I just want to kind of copy whatever's in that bigger field. I think it'll just make it easier. And then I'm thinking about widening this field. We might do that next video since we got the plow out and we're going to plow this field. Um, and then uh, we can take care of that. We may have to do soil sampling again. But uh, it should be fine. I think it'll be worth it. So that is it. We need to get some fuel in this harvester. Hopefully we make it back to the farm. Uh, like I said, uh, like I said, I think the, I do like this harvester. She's got a few issues. One of the other things is that the turning radius is uh, super small. Ooh, that seems legit. There we go. The turning radius isn't very uh, tight, so it makes uh, turning from row to row pretty hard. So we may be looking at a new harvester. We'll see how much money we make, though. We're kind of struggling in the money department. We assume we got $8,100, so we'll see if by uh, this corn harvest if we can improve that. Um, but uh, for next time, I'm probably going to... We're probably going to take care of this field and then start on corn harvest in the next one. I'm going to take care of the big field there and get that all seeded. And then uh, that'll be, I guess, uh, the rest of the harvest in the next one, too. We'll take care of that big corn field. So, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time for our Survivor Roleplay series on Griffin, Indiana. Thanks for watching.